We're gonna start out with our thermal protectant spray and get that all sprayed into the hair before we start combing it out. Once you've got it all combed out, we will be using our ceramic bore brush and we are going to do the same U rectangular shape sections at the top, about slightly smaller than the width of our bristles. Make sure you get your section secured. And that is our very first section we will be starting with. Next, we'll use the metal part of our brush to measure, and that will be determining the width of our next section. And then you'll continue on down the head. We are going to start this blow dry by putting our brush on top of our section. Our goal is to get zero elevation in this nape section, so we are going for off base when winding this section up. So you're going to do a few passes getting that base dry in that flat section. And then after that you'll do regular blow dry on top of section, brush underneath. Then you're gonna wind this up once your section is good and dry. And you will be winding your brush up off base. Use your cool shot and you'll cool shot it in that shape. Then you're going to release, twist, and release again. So we'll go through that in the back two sections and we're going to focus on getting that base nice and smooth and flat and we're making sure that we're keeping our brush wound up off base. We will continue the off base in this section as well. Really make sure to press that section of hair on your brush. Those bore bristles act really similarly to Velcro, so they will help secure your section so it doesn't go all over the place when you're putting your brush on top of your section. You're gonna practice putting your brush on top and on bottom of your section until you get the hang of it. Make sure you're always keeping the airflow with the direction of the hair. Almost parallel with the hair, just slightly perpendicular. Don't forget to use that cool shot. Now, for this section, I meant to do it half off base. I accidentally continued on off base, but for this section right above the ears, I want you to direct your section out toward you at 90 degrees. 
that will get you to the result of half off base. So instead of directing this section, continuing to direct it down, I want you to direct it out at 90 degrees, half off base. And again, remember to direct your section above your ears, this section that I just did. Direct it out at 90 degrees. That way you will end up with half off base when you wind your brush up. For this next section, we are gonna move on to on base. So direct that section 45 degrees above, up toward the ceiling, and you'll be putting that airflow underneath the section and your brush on top of the section, just like I'm doing here. And you'll just work on either side of your section to get it dry. And we will be winding that down to on base. There we go, on base. You can still see that part line underneath and we're cool shotting it. When you release it, you're just gonna release out and down with one twist. You're gonna do this through the entire section.
Now for the top. We are going to take horizontal rectangular sections and we are shooting for overdirected volume base. So we want the maximum amount of volume in this section. So you will be overdirecting the hair slightly above the 45 above. So that way we can get the maximum amount of volume. You'll be directing your section toward your client's face. So first starting out with your brush on top of your section, pulling forward toward your client's face. And then you'll just do overhand and underhand with your brush technique until you wind it up, rest it on base, cool shot it, and then release it. For this last section, the one right against your client's face, you are going to do all the bases on this one. So I just do a pass or two of each one. So volume base, on base, half off base, and then off base. So you're going to cycle through all of those until your section's dry and then release it. After this, you're going to feel, make sure you didn't leave any wet spots in the hair that you need to touch up. And you're going to break the curl up after it's cooled. Then you'll find where your mannequin or client's part is. Find an area to section it and style it up. So just manipulate your mannequin's hair until you're happy with it. Get it all set up and ready for your after photo.